Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, spirit. <laughs> I don't know why I was so chipper with that. Sorry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> please make, uh, uh, please. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. Let's try that again. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good for all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Virgos. So um, I, I feel like there are a lot of changes around you. There are a lot of changes happening around you, um, which as a mutable sign, I feel like isn't the worst thing. But again, as an earth sign, as a Virgo, it's a little unsettling. All right. Um, in the pre-shuffle, death and the two of pentacles did pop out. So I feel like many of you are having to really 
juggle some things. Um, you could be feeling like you're in between realities, in between worlds, in between states in your life. Some of you could be going through a career change, uh, changing jobs, um, and you're in the in-between sp uh, uh, space when it comes to that. But I just, it's, it just feels unsettling because the first thing I felt with your energy, Virgo, was just like unsettled. And I remember when I did the mid-month check-in for January for you guys, um, I felt like I wanted to cry when I was channeling your energies because there was a lot of change happening. Um, so yeah, there's still, you're still going through the motions with this change, Virgo, with death and the two of pentacles that came out. Really feeling like you have to juggle, maybe even feeling like you can't quite keep it together. And as a Virgo, that is not something you like to feel. You are not uh, someone that really likes to look like you don't have it together and it feels like your shit is a mess right now, which also is part of your the Virgo energy. It's really honestly probably not as bad as you think, but there's Virgo for you. I mean, I get it. In Western astrology, I'm a Virgo rising. So my Virgo, Betsy, my very, very good friend, um, soul sister, Betsy of Fearless Intuition, has to, has reminded me on a few occasions that my Virgo rising is showing, and she is <laughs> absolutely correct. The 10 of, I'm sorry, the, um, well, the 10 of my main, my mate, wow, the 10 of the major arcana or the Wheel of Fortune is catching my my uh, attention right now and fortune here is really the main word all right because things are changing for the better even though it feels unsettling virgo things are absolutely changing for the better let's get one more shuffle for you and then we'll get into it all right here we go virgo all righty overall energy for you for february we have ooh the king of wands you could be dealing with a leo you could be uh connecting with a leo you could have leo in your chart or another fire sign aries or sagittarius um it's very interesting because i just finished the leo reading and the king of wands came out and there was a lot of re-identifying going on for the Leos, um, getting into their heart space and really identifying who they truly are on a deeper scale. I feel like that's ha what's happening for you too, Virgo. You have the potential, I, even though I feel like some of you are kind of shying away from this energy, which makes perfect sense, um, you have this energy welling up within you um, or you are embodying this energy, knowing exactly what you want and going for it and not letting anything stop you, okay? But if you're not... If you're not feeling up to it, you do have this energy at your disposal, and that would be the advice from the universe to take it full on. To stop thinking so much about how others view you, what others think of you, how much of a mess your life is or is perceived to be, and just get going with who you are and what you want. But there you go. There you are, Virgo. The Eight of Swords with the two of cups and the ten of cups boop 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 okay this is beautiful virgo you have to get out of your head you just have to get the fuck out of your head virgo i i apologize if that triggered you if my my rashness my intensity my language triggered you but you're welcome because triggering is a good thing but you gotta get out of this energy Virgo. You have to. It's not going to help you. And I feel like for some of you, you've been in this energy for so long. This is what I'm feeling specifically for you, Virgo, is this is obligation. Feeling like you have to appear a certain way to other people in order to be accepted or um, respected. And that's straight up bullshit, says the King of Wands. Fuck it. If you don't like me who as I am, if you don't like the fact that I'm cursing up a storm right now, you can fuck off. That's what the King of Wands says. And that's what you need to be embodying right now, Virgo. All right? You also have the Two of Cups here. The Two of Cups, you could be aligning. You could. You absolutely could be aligning with a fire sign, uh, potentially a Leo, or just someone else that's very passionate, very strong-willed, and knows what they want, he or she wants, and goes for it. You absolutely could be aligning with this type of person, and you could be up in your head about it. But you see, the thing about it is that's keeping you in your head about it is this person 
could be the love of your life, could be everything you have always asked for with the Ten of Cups, but you keep going back to the what ifs. This is not the Nine of Swords, but it might as well should be. And the only reason it's not the Nine of Swords is because you need, this is a lesson, okay, Virgo, you need to break yourself out of this mental prison and just go with the flow. Go with where your heart is calling you to go, okay? But with the Two of Cups, you also are dealing with a union of masculine and feminine within. This is the union with, with yourself. So you really could be going through a re-identification process. Spirit keeps saying gender re-identification, and that did come out in the, in the Leo reading. So, some of you might be Leo Virgo cuspers. Some of you might be a Leo in uh, one system versus a Virgo in another. That would be Western versus Eastern. Um, some of you could have Leo in your chart. Uh, but if you're resonating with this so far, I recommend that you watch the Leo uh, reading. Also, also, we just had a full moon on the 20th of January, which was in Leo. So actually, I might want to recommend that everybody watch the Leo reading because that really could be affecting you right now. All right? So getting into your first row, which is going to be the energies moving into February. The second row is going to be the upcoming energies moving through February, getting deeper into February. But moving into February, first set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. We've got the Fool. You really might want to check out that Leo reading because the Fool did come out for Leo. Um, and I shuffled these cards well. I mean, you watched me shuffle while I was channeling to begin the reading, and I did a pre-shuffle beforehand in between readings. So y'all know these cards are shuffled, okay? But Virgo, you are approaching the edge of the cliff. And instead of saying, oh my God, I can't jump, I can't jump. What if I get killed? What if I get hurt? What if I don't fly? What if nobody catches me? Fuck that, catch yourself. Mm -hmm. Get out of your head, Virgo because you're starting a brand new cycle. You're going in a new direction. And look, you have the sun behind, good Lord. You really might be connecting with a Leo or for some of you, you've got some heavy Leo placements in your chart or that last full moon in Leo on the 20th of uh, January really affected you because you have the sun at your back. And what does the sun represent or rule? Leo. All right, check out that Leo reading, guys. Spirit is saying that. Check out the Leo re reading for February. The Fool is coupled with the Six of Swords. See, mental clarity, mental easing, mental appeasement. You're definitely moving into a brand new cycle, Virgo, that is going to bring a lot of that mental chatter to an end, okay? All of that fighting you've been doing with yourself in your head is going by the wayside should you take this leap of faith into the new cycle, all right? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo, in the uh, moving into February, you've got the Hanged Man. Good Lord, please check out that, read over, that Leo reading because the Hanged Man came out as well. This could be Pisces energy. Um, you might have Pisces in your chart. You might be aligning with a Pisces. You might have some heavy Piscean influence in your life. If it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that. If it's not that, um, this actually, this really could be the energy of the Eight of Swords. I've never really seen it that way because I often see the um, the Four of Swords as a minor arcana version of the Hanged Man. But especially since the Hanged Man is falling underneath the Eight of Swords in the spread here, that does mean something sometimes. And here it means this um, this hold up you're feeling, this uh, stuck stagnancy or whatever, this enlightenment that you're needing to come to, which is the point of being in a hanged man state, absolutely has to do with being up in your head about all kinds of shit. All of these things, all of this mental en en entrapment that you find yourself in, you have to be the one to cut yourself out. And I feel like for some of you, you're not going to leave this hanged man state until you shimmy over to those swords and cut yourself out of there and take that motherfucking blindfold off. <laughs> Again, if I'm triggering you, good. If you don't like it, you can peace. I love you guys. <laughs> the hanged man is coupled with... I mean, you can't make this shit up. The two of swords. I told you, get that goddamn freaking <laughs> blindfold off, Virgo. It is not serving you. It really is not serving you, Virgo. I love you guys. I love you so much. But you have to take that blindfold off and see things as they truly are. And for a lot of you, that means looking deep within and seeing who you truly are. And a lot of you don't wanna do that. 
a good portion of you that I'm channeling for, you don't want to do that because you're going to see some really ugly, nasty, narcissistic things. Oh, yeah. Well, there's Archangel Michael ready to help you. You just got to ask. All right, Virgo. Now, this doesn't that, keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. This doesn't have to be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. So this could be what they're going through. Okay. Your challenge, moving into the month of February, you have woo, the King of Cups. Again, this is another card that came out for the Leo reading, so please watch that if, it, if this is resonating with you. But you might just actually, that might resonate with you more. Anyway, the King of Cups is emotional maturity. It's also the archetype of Scorpio, so you might be connecting with a Scorpio. But emotional maturity, okay? Having the emotional maturity to look within and deal with your healing. And to take action and that action that you would need to take would be to dive into the depths of your emotions and feel what's down there the only way to release and heal something is to experience it face excuse me face it experience it feel it and then release it okay awareness is pivotal when it comes to healing and closing out cycles all right the king of cups is coupled with Ooh, the four of cups you're, you're facing you're, you're facing a um a situation in which you could miss an opportunity here for some of you this is facing all the opportunities you may have missed because of a lack of emotional maturity all of the the, the, the because the, the for some of you, the, the the three of cups, which is that social setting, or which also would be, you know, the the public opinion of you, has been keeping you down. Whereas the universe, or God, source, creator, whatever, your angels, your guides, your spirit guides, whatever, how, whatever you identify with, they've all been trying to hand you something, and you've been rejecting it potentially. Someone may have been rejecting you potentially. But you have to face this. And for some of you, I'm feeling like this is because you've been rejecting this even though you may have all this vibrato of the king of wands you may have been rejecting this opportunity because you haven't felt worthy enough i'm seeing some of for some of you specifically it's like how could i ever allow that into my life when i have all this shit around me this shit represented by the three of cups here which a lot which oof is toxic and poisonous in comparison, well, in general, but also in comparison to whatever this cup is that the universe is trying to hand to you, all right? Uh, that's just for some of you. Again, this is a general message, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. The closing message here, moving into the month of February, or your potential outcome, you have... Ooh, chow, that queen of cups. Guys, this is yet another card that came out for the Leo reading, both the king and the queen of cups. What I'm seeing here, your closing message, um, your advice potentially would be to embody the archetype of the Queen of Cups. This is Cancerian energy, or it could just be any water sign. Um, but Cancerian energy actually is perfect in regards to this because uh, Cancer is all about um, empathy, compassion, and family, unconditional love, and all that kind of stuff. You're needing to approach the situation from this, from the archetype of the Divine Feminine, which is the embodiment, or excuse me, the emotional, or I'm sorry, the energetic embodiment of unconditional love, all right? It's also a psychic attunement, psychic awareness. So really rely on your intuition when it comes to dealing with this kind of stuff. You might want to spend some time with your mother, maybe speak to your mother. Uh, for some of you, your mother is a really excellent sounding board. Your mother could be your best friend in a sense, like that kind of energy. Um, or seek out some sort of guidance from someone that you really expect, or not expect, respect from um, an emotional standpoint. Uh, 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 and in terms of expectation, this could be reach out, reaching out to someone that you can expect good, compassionate, loving guidance from. Again, Spirit said that could be your mother, okay? Queen of Cups is coupled with the Two of Wands. Excellent. So this, uh, this counsel that you would be getting from potentially a Cancerian or uh, just uh, an emotionally available and accepting person, individual, is going to help you make some sort of decision because you do have the Two of Swords here in which you're refusing to see something and that's keeping you in a hanged man state. But 
conversing either with this person external to you or conversing with your inner divine feminine, your inner feminine energies, your inner your intuition. So for some of you, this could be like a grandmother or someone that has passed that you still communicate with. They will help you see clearly, see the light and, and help you move in a better direction, move in a direction that's way more in alignment with you, okay? All right, so getting deeper into February here, the first set of surrounding energies, you've got, yeah, the Nine of Swords, uh, excuse me, not the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Wands, battered and bruised, having to just press on. And this Leo energy or this King of Wands energy is really going to help you persevere, okay? The Nine of Wands is my just keep swimming card. Um, but it's also about defensiveness. You, may, you might be feeling really defensive. Um, and you might really be needing to guard yourself from individuals that will only serve to bring down your vibration. I really feel like a lot of you are struggling or are going to be struggling with raising your vibration and ascending into a higher state of awareness, a higher state of consciousness. Again, uh, the King of Wands energy definitely can help you persevere through that. But um, protect yourself, love yourself, really work on practicing some self-care this month. That will really help uh, ease a lot of the turmoil and pain and struggle that you're dealing with. The nine of wands is coupled with oh, the five of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here with the nine of wands is um, uh, coupled with the five of pentacles is you really dealing, facing the energies of feeling rejected, feeling lacked than, um, not feeling good enough, feelings of destitution. This could also be um, lack mentality, uh, healing past bows of poverty, whether that com comes from your ancestors or if that's from um, uh, past lives, maybe even this life, okay? Some of you might have dealt with some uh, financial situations that have you in a mindset that you can't manifest anything else. And I really do see you either taking the opportunity to, oh, 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 well, taking the uh, having the opportunity like facing that opportunity or actually taking that opportunity to, to battle these things, to heal them, to push through them, okay? To persevere through it. Second set of surrounding energies, moving deeper into February, you have, ooh, ciao, more Leo energy, the Six of Wands, victory, all right? The one thing I do wanna say here though is don't let your pride and ego get the best of you. The pride goeth before the fall, all right? So if you are able to really overcome a lot of things, Check yourself, work on staying humble. Virgo is not um, a stranger to humbleness. I do think of Virgo as the, uh, the um, archetype that does embody humbleness, but don't let your ego and your pride get the best of you, okay? You do have cause to celebrate, okay? You may have really surmounted a big challenge in your life, but stay humble, all right? Because everybody goes through their own shit. Six of Wands is coupled with the High Priestess. There's a huge victory here. Oh my God, the High Priestess came up with the Leo reading too. Good gracious, Virgo. Some of this, this Leo full moon really could have affected you. You may have a lot of Leo energy in your chart. I do know of someone who is very dear to me who is actually very much all about Leo energy in Eastern astrology. Um, check that out. If you haven't really investigated that yet, you can go ahead and do that. I do have links in my, uh, in the description box to give, to help you draw up your, both your Western and your Eastern chart. But your victory comes from downloads from the universe, from facing your deepest, darkest secrets, from listening to your in intuition, even developing your intuition so that you can perceive better in the future. Okay. But yes, your victories are coming from, um, the inner realms, the inner reality, re-identifying yourself for some of you, or but or just, and that re-identification could just be learning more about yourself than you may have been willing to face in the past, okay? Your challenge, moving deeper into February, you got the Hierophant, wow! So this is the counterpart to the High Priestess. Now this is the physical situation here, the earthly situation, whereas the high priestess is the spiritual energetic. Uh, the hierophant being in your challenge here, now you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could have Taurus energy in your chart. Um, but the hierophant as your challenge is saying to me, it's facing and dealing with the status quo. Are you truly who you know yourself to be? Or better yet, are you truly who you want to be? 
Are you allowing yourself to live that? You are going to have to assert your individuality in the face of this character here. Because this character, as we know it in this current paradigm, in this current time-space continuum, is all about conformity. Virgo is very much about conformity. More so than any of the other mutable signs because Virgo is an Earth sign. But I'm going to tell you right now, Virgo, if this is resonating with you as a Virgo, this could be a Virgo around you or this could be someone else around you. But whoever this is resonating for, you are going to have to break free from the mold if you are truly going to be happy in this lifetime. That could, exa that could absolutely be why you came in as a Virgo. Um, I would say as a Virgo rising. You can embody the the Virgo energy and still be true to yourself still love yourself for who you are okay the hierophant is coupled with whoa the emperor are you kidding me yo can you talk about a double dose of controlling atmospheres between the hierophant and the emperor that's like control upon control upon control you are going to do as i say when i say and you're not going to give me shit about it i don't want to hear boo about it i will sew your mouth shut you do as i say mm, that was triggering wasn't it you gotta let that energy go virgo you have to because you are not going to be happy in this corporeal experience if you are continuing to allow yourself to be controlled by others. Now, you are a mutable sign. Don't get me wrong. So, your energies are malleable. They go where they are needed. You're very much in your element when you are embodying your energy like that. But that does not mean you are not your own person, Virgo. Or someone connecting with you. Okay? Ooh, wow, is that a challenge? But I can already feel like I'm super excited, even though this is a really, really tough challenge. Like you're literally going against the, the grain. You are literally a salmon swimming upstream to procreate right now. But this is feeling so exciting to me because you have a chance to break free from the mold and be a greater version of yourself than you have ever been. In this, in this lifetime, and Spirit is standing for many of you in any other lifetime. And that is exactly why you came here with that strong Virgo energy in your chart, that strong Virgo placement. I do feel like this is mostly for Virgo risings, but it could be anyone. So look at where Virgo is in your chart and see how you're breaking free from the mold, okay? Your closing message or um, potential outcome moving deeper into February, you got the seven of wands. Fuck yeah, Virgo! Put down those barriers, lay down that line in the sand and you say you shall not pass. Mm -hmm. I know that's right. Seven of Wands is coupled with the Page of Pentacles, yet another card that came out for the Leo reading. And for me, the pages often uh, very much represent, in my opinion, a level up or a starting in a new cycle, starting in a new phase okay you got to get your footing somewhere so it definitely would be represented by the page of pentacles and here what i'm seeing for you especially coupled with the seven of wands is um starting your new existence as a, a brand new person changed now this doesn't have to be this doesn't have to happen overnight this doesn't have to happen right away this is not trying we're not, no one is trying to rush you here all right, especially with the page of pentacles pentacles is a small is a slow moving suit the slowest in the whole deck um so allow this to unfold naturally, but I do see you getting the cojones or the balls to lay down, to draw the line in the sand and say, no, 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 this is who I am. Take it or leave it, says the King of Wands. That is so beautiful, Virgo. This is actually, this is a great reading for you, especially with the last few readings that we've been doing for Virgo. This, it's almost as if, not almost, it is like, especially with the Fool here, starting off your reading in the, in the current, in the, the energies moving into the, to, to February. Um, it's like all of the shit that you've been through over the last few months is really starting to come to a head and you're really, uh, spirit just keeps saying you're breaking the mold, you're breaking free and that's beautiful Virgo, that is so beautiful. 
All right, let's get into your oracle guidance here for the month of February from the unicorns. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best messages, please, Spirit, for the month of February 2019. Uh, Spirit is asking me to point out to you guys one more time that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If this is not you that's going through this, it could potentially be someone that you are connecting with or it just is not for you at all. Who knows? All right. Best message, please, Spirit. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February 2019. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful abundance. Underneath the deck, you have prosperity. Holy shit, this came out for the Leo reading too. In the same place at the bottom of the deck. Prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. And just like I said with the Leo reading, this absolutely could mean that as you move into a more authentic space, as you work on healing your heart chakra, your prosperity expands and you've got abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Again, authenticity is key here, Virgo. You cannot be flowing with abundance and being less than who you truly are. The less you are in your own authenticity, the less abundance you will be able to flow with. It's just how the universe works, okay? All right, Virgo, so there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm wishing you guys a great February, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!